Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. This is the uh, gas meter outside my house. Just uh, checking on things here. So here's the um, main shutoff. And one thing I keep here is a emergency wrench to uh, use to shut that off if, if you need to. So that's a handy thing. Keep one of these out here by the uh, meter so you don't have to go running around looking for something like that. And then this is the uh, smart meter. What this is, it's an automated meter reading transmitter. So I guess the uh, technology, they either call it AMI or AMR, automated meter reading. So they call it a smart meter, but it's more of uh, just a uh, transmitter on the meter. There's a couple of uh, patent numbers here. I'll, I'll go show you that on the uh, computer screen. Kind of interesting patents. And this uses what they call the star network. And it's a uh, rather low frequency licensed uh, frequency that they transmit and apparently these things can transmit up to about a mile away so they usually have receivers located on a half to one mile grid around the uh, area and I guess they transmit like several times a day maybe four times a day with all the pertinent data that... but anyway one thing I did here last night I just wanted to double check that I don't have any gas leaks. I, I use the uh, leak detector solution on all the fittings I can see. What I did was put a mark here on the housing and I marked the half foot dial there and it's been about 18 hours and that dial has not moved one, even one notch from there. It was right there last night and it's still right there right now so I think I'm pretty good as far as leaks go. So this is the uh, house side of the meter so they come out of here they have this half inch pipe and then they go up to three quarter inch and then down here there's a three quarter to one inch adapter so you've got three different size pipes right there that's kind of interesting and there's no drip leg here that I can see. As far as I can tell, they run into the house with um, one inch pipe, and I'm guessing they run a trunk line down the middle of the house with one inch, and then feed off to the various uh, appliances. One thing I wanted to mention is, so here's this smart meter or automated meter reading transmitter and one thing you'll notice is there's no wire going into it nothing on that side nothing around it so this thing runs on a battery and it's actually quite a special battery I think they rate these for something between 10 and 20 years of operation on a battery and this thing is transmitting a signal something like four times a day and doing that for 10 to 20 years without needing a battery replacement. They actually use, a, I believe it's a Tataran battery, lithium thionyl chloride, so it's a non-rechargeable battery. But, and let's see, maybe we can catch the next uh, dishwasher cycle here. Yeah, so the dishwasher should just be starting another fill cycle. So I wanted to see if we could catch that here on the meter. Yeah, there, did you hear the gas just kicked on and there goes the half cubic foot. Yeah, you can hear the gas regulator and there's one circle and it stopped. So that's basically one fill cycle on the dishwasher and that's all it runs. It'll do however many cycles of hot water are in the uh, dishwasher cycle and that's that's all the water heater runs. So that used about a half a cubic foot of gas. So yeah, pretty efficient little water heater there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the, that it turns on and off and when it's off, it's off. So anyway, that is my gas meter and let's go take a look at some of these uh, smart meter patents and see what we can find about that.